Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fowler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer. This is Aaliyah, my daughter, and she's going to be an evolutionary astrologer. No, I'm just joking. And this is the weekly astrological message for the week between the 10th and the 17th of June 2017. First of all, let me apologize for the background music. This is Pride in Israel and everybody's celebrating Pride. So uh, congratulations to everybody that who's dancing and enjoying themselves right now. And there's a big party here in the park and we could hear the music from far away. Right, Aaliyah? Right. Anyway, so, yes. Daddy's making a video. Is that okay with you? Yes? So, let's talk about the week ahead. We've had some very emotional energies in the sky and this uh, influence is, is strengthening. So, first of all, during the next week, we have to be mindful and not to be too melodramatic and not to let our emotions rule us. And just remember to not act out from any base emotion like anger or fear or um, possessiveness or envy and really distant ourselves from our feelings just a little bit and be a little bit detached but still warm and loving and concentrate on intimacy intimacy and uh, being with people who we are familiar with and and a feeling of uh, have a feeling of belonging to uh, is very important at this time on the 10th we have the moon in capricorn opposing mars uh, the moon in Capricorn by itself is a little cold and distant and critical about things. Having it opposing Mars uh, can really cause eruptions, especially with authoritative figures in our lives, such as parents or bosses, so be mindful of that. On the 11th, the moon is still in Capricorn, but this time it's conjunct Pluto squaring Jupiter. This is the time that we have to be uh, um, careful not to be obsessive, and to really let other people influence our thought process and the way we do things, not to be too much stuck up our own behinds, if you know what I'm saying, pardon my French. And the square to uh, Jupiter can even uh, really uh, heighten that uh, effect and cause us to be more extravagant, uh, a feeling of omnipotency and of a need to be uh, to indulge ourselves really and we need to really um, pay attention and become and become much uh, much more humble and do things in a much more realistic down-to-earth manner and of course be flexible and let other people in let other people in don't go with my way or the highway on the 11th this is a time that also marks the beginning of an opposition between the Sun and Saturn. The opposition between the Sun and Saturn is going to be exact on the 15th. And this is a time that we could have issues of fathers and children. <laughs> well, we have people in the frame, we'll just continue. This is, an, this is a time that uh, we can have issues of fathers and children. fathers and children come up on the table I'm sorry for this and um, so it's a time to be more caring with our children it's a time to be more caring with our parents not to be as critical and it's also a time since this is the Sun to be aware of everything concerning our own identity and our creativity and the things we come to do here in this world this whole process brings a time of reckoning to our uh, own identity, to our creative process. When Saturn is opposing our sun, and generally in the sky when Saturn opposes the sun, this is a time that um, if we have things within our own creative process or within our own identity or within the relationship with our children that is not valid, that does not prove itself to be useful over, the, 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 over time, it needs to fall away it needs to break off and and separate from our life and if it is valid if it does work 
then it gets strengthened. It's a feeling like we're being held on a very short leash. If we do something right, we get tapped on the back and, and, and uh, upgraded. If we do something wrong, we get a slap on our cheek. Saturn is not forgiving. On the 16th, we have the moon in, uh, in Pisces conjunct Neptune. This is a time that we could feel a little bit out of it, uh, out of time and space. It's a great day for meditation or for any creative or artistic endeavor. Not a good day to take care of a lot of details, to do any work-related activities or anything that uh, needs our mind to be focused. Other than that, Neptune is going to go into retrograde movement on the 16th until I think it's 23rd November, if I'm not mistaken. And when Neptune is in retrograde movement, our uh, unspoken contract with God, our unspoken contract with nature and the universe is subject to change. It's a time that the things we took from, for granted, that we are getting from the world, from the universe, from nature, are subject to change. A change that is not foreseen or is not controlled, or both. We cannot control and we cannot foresee. So it's a time that natural disasters can be heightened. It's a time that we could see changes within the bio environment that are alarming. And that's really a time that causes us to understand the need to go to the other polarity. If we're talking about the axis of the Pisces and Virgo axis, to go a little bit more to the Virgo side and to understand that we need to execute more control over our own actions, that we need to be more responsible, that we need to harness our own talents for a greater cause, to help others, to help our environment, to give service, all Virgo qualities, and be more perfectionistic regarding how we do things and not remain in the Piscean, uh, in the Piscean pole, which talks about turning away our gaze to the other side, remaining passive, remaining in a state of illusion regarding our own deeds and actions and passivity. On the 17th, the moon is still in Pisces, but it's a conjunct Chiron and it squares Saturn. It's a time that we need to be careful not to be too critical. It's a very sensitive day. It's a day that we could be in touch with our own pains and aches. And it's a time that could be healing as well if we are tender enough, if we are soft and caring, we could actually touch those sore spots and heal them. The square to Saturn can really cause feelings of inadequacy, feelings of uh, emotional uh, instability and just bring us down, make us a little bit depressed. So just be mindful of that and remain on the positive side on the 17th. So that's about it for this week. I want to thank you for being with Elia and me here and listening to this. And of course, for private lessons, courses, any questions you, must, you might have, I'm Boaz Fader and I'll be more than happy to answer these. Thank you for listening. I'm signing out. Have a beautiful week. Bye-bye.